People get Christian as a religion confused with the Christian worldview. They have nothing to do with each other. People get faith in Christ and the walk of Christ, the Holy Spirit, they get this confused with the Christian religion. They're completely independent of each other. Um, the so-called quote-unquote church is very corrupt in, in all kinds of ways, all across the board. Okay, Protestantism, Catholicism, I mean all of it, right? They're all controlled by masonry and all of these things. So it's, um, it's, it's very easy for someone who knows a little bit, it's very easy to see the differences. But unfortunately, you got a lot of these New Agers, a lot of these agnostics that are out there, and they're so stuck in their flesh that they're full of anger, they're full of hate, they're full of frustration, they have identity issues. So they attack things that have foundation but are being misused, and that's the Christian worldview. As Christianity as a system and it's very easy to see that's you know that's why I feel for a lot of my agnostic friends a lot of my secular humanist friends they're just confused they don't know truth they don't know logic they don't know how to explain their positions they don't know where their positions come from they don't know what their worldview actually is and if you don't understand your worldview further if your worldview is inconsistent every argument you make will be inconsistent because your worldview is your foundation of understanding. It's your foundation of truth. It's your foundation of epistemology, how you know what you know. It's your base of identity. If that's flawed, everything you produce thereon will be flawed. Period, this is the logic here, okay? So it's very easy to refute um, agnostics and, and atheists. Very, very simple. Because they, 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 they work from a false, a false presupposition, a false premise, okay? They, they literally work from an area that is, is false to begin with. Let's get into these activists, all right? These activists, you know, they want to change the world. And they're trying to change the world by changing the system. Okay, now, now I maintain, if you want to change the system, you have to understand the system. And they don't understand the system. They believe the system is like this capitalistic, racist monster, right? But they're missing so many things here. Changing the system to begin with is a false premise, right? You can't change the system. It just doesn't work like that. You have all these people who be like, oh, you know, so much racism. This is a racist country. Institutionalized racism is a problem. Um, capitalism is the problem. The 1% is the problem. The rich, wealthy white man is the problem. All of these, all of these arguments, right? They're all a false premise because it's much deeper than that. Not only do they want to change the system, they want to blame everything on the system but this does not account for change in the individual accountability okay you want to change the system and you want to make all these arguments and appeals to emotion against the system all the horrible things you, you believe the system is right yet you take no accountability for yourself no one mentions what we need to do as a people no one mentions the individual no one mentions the family no one mentions it it's, it's, it's the system right it's the system so <laughs> What happens is, this fails to realize you cannot change a thing without knowledge of that thing's essence. To change the system, you must first understand the system's worldview. The worldview is the problem, so we must change the worldview of the system. The worldview is your base essence, your values, your conception of humanity and reality itself. Our system today, its worldview is a postmodern materialist worldview, a mixture of the two, postmodern slash materialist worldview. Yeah, they do actually contradict each other, but this is a contradictory, double-minded system, okay, because it is based and rooted in the flesh. It's rooted in scientism and um, liberated paganism. So what we have here is, based on their presuppositions, humanity is valueless because it's nothing but a randomly created unit of energy. Okay, so to a materialist, to an atheist, an agnostic, to, to these types who have a secular humanist worldview, their presupposition, um, or should we say, their foundation in understanding what humanity is, is only based on the idea of humanity being a valueless unit of energy. Why is that? Because they believe in the Big Bang. They believe in evolution. If you believe in evolution, you believe in natural selection, meaning you believe in Darwinism. Natural selection means everything happens by the selection via nature, meaning it is, it is a type of system based on, based on probability. It's not based on value. It's not based on intrinsic value of a specific type of being because it was created by a creator that is valuable. 
You see what I mean? It, it, it's, it's opposed to that, it, or instead of that, it is this randomly created valueless thing that came from nothing, a, a bang, a, 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 just some type of a selecting system of nature. So you can't place any value on the human being when you have that type of foundation or worldview. This is one thing atheists and agnostics and these, and these, these different types of um, new age thinkers, they don't understand that their, their complete understanding of what humanity is, is, is flawed logically. 